All right. Now, as you can see, he's trying to jump up and hit that door. But I don't know if he can actually uh, knock it down. This is longtime gamer Venry Fairden introducing Uncle Troy's Minecraft videos. And hello there, folks. This is your Uncle Troy. Today we are playing Minecraft. And I'm trying to get back to the village. Oops, another creeper hole I need to fill in later. I'm trying to get back to the village I've been uh, working on. Picked up quite a few ender pearls the other day. They can be used to uh, make the trip a little shorter. Or not. Oops. About to say, I think I just heard a zombie. And over there is our village. So I logged in the other day, and there were some signs here. And the first sign says, Dear Troy, you have three days to get out of this village. The second sign said something about the bad things that would happen to me if I didn't. And the third sign uh, was signed anonymous. And I'm not sure what the uh, second sign said, because about the time I was standing here reading the signs, a creeper came up and blew up, and I had to rebuild this yet again. So I assume if I do not uh, get out of Dodge in three days, the creepers are going to blow up my whole little village here. So we don't want that to happen to our poor villagers, but I have claimed this land in the name of Troy. Welcome to Troyville. And that actually has a story behind it, as does everything I do. Uh, let's see, I went ahead and cleaned off the uh, excess lip there on the uh, roof. So now you can't accidentally jump up here and get on the roof. So we don't have to worry about the iron golem getting up there and getting stuck again. Where is Mr. Golem? He's usually around here somewhere. There he is. Hello there, sir. Keeping them safe? And there's always somebody up there hanging out in that corner. I do not know why. I only had three days left, so I figured I'd make the best of them. So I decided to make a couple of houses. Just to see uh, if we can add even more to the uh, to the village. And, hmm, somebody jumped up there or something. Knocked out that wheat. Uh, now this first one here I made uh, is a simple 5x5 five five, uh, base. Followed by some wooden walls and a cobble half uh, step or slab roof and there's not a lot to it but I figured it was a cheap easy way to get four uh, more doors into the village and I like these edges here because I think it uh, you know adds some it's not like just a monolithic square box it adds some detail but then I thought you know that's a lot of effort for just four doors when I could do this which is an ugly you know, boxy structure, but it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight doors. Might need to put some light on the inside of these. And as you can see, the villagers do like these houses. They go in and out all the time. And over here, I decided to call this little bunch of houses the Hotel Squidward for obvious reasons. Hello, do you like paper? Oh, this is the guy that if you give him an emerald, he gives you a bottle O enchanting. And he will accept gold ingots, ingots for emeralds. I might have to actually do that. I need to make some, trade, make some more trades before I finally leave here. All right, let's, uh, what do we need to do today? Maybe make one more house. We want to uh, make sure all our wheat's planted so our squidwards do not uh, go hungry. Probably want to breed our pigs again. Remember our pigs? They were in this little uh, terraced off area. 
And uh, I built a grass bridge over so they could get fresh grass. And there is redstone. That's not good. I think I just saw redstone. Well, there's no good to build around with uh, dirt when you only have one piece of dirt. Why, yes, there is redstone over there. That doesn't look good. That looks like some kind of trap or something. The creepers are getting more intelligent. Let's very carefully ease in here. Make sure there's no pressure plates or sensors of any type. No. Okay. Let's step up here. Hmm. No pressure place, no sensors or anything, just a redstone here. Maybe that's blood. Maybe somebody came and slaughtered one of my piggies when I wasn't around. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am. Well, that was stupid, because if there was redstone around here, walking up to the table activates the pressure plate. Darn, it's getting dark. My first day over here, and I have not accomplished anything. See if this pig's still out here. Yes, okay. Still a pig there? Nope, you cannot come in the house. You're not a house pig. Alrighty, did I keep my... Let's see, I kept my extra oak stairs here and my extra wood. We need wood. Do I have a hoe? I do have a hoe. Good. And a little extra wheat. A few extra seeds. There's my ten emeralds. A little extra paper. And uh, there's a better bow than I have. I just have power one on this bow, but I have power three, punch one. So keep that. I think I may make some uh, jack-o'-lanterns to leave around the uh, leave around the village here. All right. Now usually I go to sleep, but since I only have three days and I've already wasted most of this first one, I am going to uh, stay awake and just hopefully I can protect the. Uh, Squidwards, if any zombies come in. Alright, that's got that. So right here about the center, I could put another uh, jack-o'-lantern and it, it would be even. In fact, let me go ahead and make several of those. That'll add a little more light. Actually, I don't need uh, torches up there because I have them in the corners. That's what I did. I kind of got the idea from this building, which has the torches on the corners here. All right, there's a skeleton over there. I don't see any zombies, which is my primary concern. And actually, I hope a zombie comes because I want to test the theory that zombies can't break down a door if they're below it like this. The theory is that uh, any villagers in here like this guy who wants three emeralds for a bookshelf um, would be safe because the zombie couldn't actually beat down the door. And I'm wondering if I need to put a fence or something around this to keep villagers from falling down in there. Are there any... Squidward, yes, there are Squidwards in this hotel. So, oh, he wants four emeralds for a pair of iron boots, which is not a very good deal, I don't think. Alrighty, where shall we build the next house? Yes, I know, it's spooky, scary, dark places around us. I think the next house will go right here. And, uh, but first, I'm going to see where this golem is going. He may just be wandering around. He may be after somebody. Are you after somebody? Do you see somebody? What you hear, boy? What you hear, huh? Nope. Okay. So, when I started, well, when I started hanging out in this village, there was like half a dozen uh, villagers, and now there are many, many, many more. 
So I think I am doing good. For suitably small values of good. Alrighty, where is my cobble? I like making a cobble floor, and I think we will go over about... Let's see. Oh, about here, I guess. About two or three spaces away from that. Here, on the edge of this... Hmm. Let's put that back one further. Say about over here. And I'm not sure how uh, wide we're going to make this. Or how big in total. I saw a skeleton sneaking around over here. There he is. Ouch. There we go. I always need more... Uh, yeah, about three spaces between this and the uh, farm here. And again, I'm not sure how far I'm going to take that. What I do know is I'm going to try to make this like just a big thing o doors. So it'll be much like one of these over here, but much bigger. Just uh, These were made with some kind of aesthetics. Oh, there, mister. Are you a butcher? Yes, you're a butcher. Hmm. Raw pork chops. I'd like one to take rotten flesh. That would just be really good. But I figure we want at least a 3x3 three three section inside. You know what? I think I can save a lot of uh, cobble if I just leave it with a natural dirt floor in there. And just make a cobble kind of uh, threshold all around. So now I'm wondering if maybe I can uh, lure this zombie over this way and then get far enough away that he loses interest in me. And then maybe he'll start taking after villagers. Yes, he did. All right. Now, as you can see, he's trying to jump up and hit that door. But I don't know if he can actually uh, knock it down. So, we're going to stand here and wait. And we do play this server on hard mode. So if this is possible, you know, he'll be able to do it. Let's check him with our zombie. Nope, he is still unable to find his way in. Add a little extra light back here. Nope, still at it. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Whoops. Kind of double shot there. Alright, so I think the uh, Squidward tried to kill outside because it was daylight. And then we ran back inside when he saw the zombie. It looks like that one just stayed inside until he saw the coast was clear. Are you okay in here, sir? Still offering a really crappy trade? Okay, good, good, good. Well, where'd you come from? I'm going to get those bottles of enchanting, even though I really don't need them. Thank you, sir. Alright, so I'm going to consider that a successful test. 
that at least in the current version in hardcore or hard mode on a server that we cannot uh, zombies cannot knock down the doors so we will call that a successful test all right well sun's coming up so that makes this uh, the end of day one um, so I have two more days to get out of Dodge, as the saying goes. Um, so uh, we'll try day two tomorrow. This is Uncle Troy signing out. Please have a good night.